Well, thank you, John Enns, for joining me today. Uh, I'm dying to get to know you a little bit better, even though we've been working together on the exec for a couple of years now. But um, so how did you get involved in construction in the first place? Well, I mean, I grew up a farmer's son, so there's always an element of construction. You know, you sort of grow up banging nails. And uh, for a while, I lived out west working in the ski industry. And in the summers, inevitably, you, you construct things whether it was a, a lift station at the top of the hill or, you know, you're, you're just always involved in some way. But where I really started my professional career in construction is with Vector Construction. Sort of come out of school, wasn't sure what I was going to do. I heard great things about Vector Construction. I thought I'd apply there. I knew a couple of people there, got the job, and it evolved from there. I was there for about uh, 14 years. What did you enjoy most about working in, with Vector and, and I guess, you know, they have such a different and varying range of, of things that they do. So yeah, Vector Construction primarily does, you know, in a nutshell, does concrete restoration. And what I really liked was getting into these different facilities that you would never have the opportunity to do. Like for example, uh, going, crawling around in the actual floodgates uh, at, at, in St. Norbert. Like actually getting in there and, fit, and really seeing how this whole structure works going to manufacturing plants, food processing plants. I, I really enjoyed that. And meeting all the people that you get to meet on your, and, and developing really, you know, strong relationships with them as well. That's awesome. Why did you decide to get involved with WCA specifically? Um, I, I don't want to say there was pressure from Vector, but uh, the, the founders of Vector had a strong, um, sense of giving back to the community so don whitmore was chair of the i believe he was chair of the wc at one point but he was also chair of the canadian construction association so uh, as a business development manager there um, in manitoba it was just a natural thing for me to do is, is to get out there and, and the reasons for it were networking really and being in the know in the construction industry if you want to know what's going on you need to be uh, affiliated with your local associations for sure so what led you to actually volunteering for the executive? Because that's sort of one more step that... I, I don't want to say I was coerced, <laughs> but I, I, I really had no idea. It, it, being in the executive and being in this chair position is, was way outside my comfort zone, getting up and talking in front of people. Um, so, and that's one of the reasons why I did it, because if you're not doing stuff like that, you're not growing. So for me, it was... It was very nerve wracking, but I knew it was the right thing to do. So I, I mean, I was approached to see if I was interested and then it, it, the rest is history. Didn't, I, I'm not sure that I understood at the beginning that it was an eight year commitment, but I, <laughs> now I wish it was longer because I, I really do love the work. Yeah, it, it's been eye opening in a lot of cases. Yeah, what sure. you joke around a little bit about calling yourself the virtual chair of WCA. <laughs> um, What's been a challenge with this whole COVID thing and, and trying to be a chair in this virtual environment? I actually copied that term from Joel Warble from, uh, he's the chair of the, of the CCA right now, the Canadian Construction Association. But there's been a few, but I mean, Ron Hambly, our, our president, makes it easy. Um, but I mean, switching over from uh, BuildWorks, you know, the, the platforms that we were using there was a challenge for sure. That's, I mean, it's a very important thing that the WCA does. Um, COVID <laughs> has been a challenge and knowing what the right thing to do. I, I, one of our uh, um, one of our committee chairs, I remember said, he goes, I, I don't even know what to do right now. It just seems like there was so much noise and so much media and everything going on. It was hard to wade through it all. And like, I, you know, in our discussion earlier today, it just seemed like there was so much going on and you have to balance your work with, with the, on the board, which I really love. I do enjoy that work and your personal life and your own career. And it, at times it's, it can seem overwhelming. You just got to step back, grab a cup of coffee, clear your head and get back at it. One of my yeah. favorite things is how do you eat an elephant? And it's one bite at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Very true. What's been the most rewarding thing for you personally? being on the WCA board and or on the executive? Um, like I said, it's so it's so outside my comfort zone that that's the personal development that I'm getting out of it. And then I would say second after that is all the people that I'm meeting. 
I always just say, you know, if you because I, I lived in Whistler for a bit, if you want to be a good skier, you follow a better skier than yourself. And when I'm working with the WCA, I feel like I'm sitting with people that are more accomplished, often smarter. And I, for me, it feels like it's rubbing off a little bit. It might not show yet, but it feels like it is. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're going to switch tracks a little bit. Uh, okay. We're going to get to know you as a person a little bit more. Um, so what are you? Are you a cat person or a dog person? Well, I'm very much a dog person. We have two rescue dogs, Huck and Coco. I'll try to... Coco has a way of looking at you that makes you wonder what you're doing with your life. I'll see if I can pull up a picture here. Um, I can't find it. There's one there. She's just a bit of a nutbag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Huck is, uh, he's kind of like Burt Reynolds. He's just a big, handsome fella. Oh, very nice. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Very much a dog person. I mean, we had a cat here. We tried it out. It disappeared, literally disappeared for three days because we had the dogs running around and then all of a sudden it showed up and they were all buddies. Oh. But the, we were just babysitting, so it, it went away. Cats so in. do you enjoy summer or winter more? Oh, I find as I'm getting older, I seem to love the warmer climates better, but I do love winter. I mean, COVID, the weather this winter has been great. We just got new cross-country skis for Christmas, both me and my wife, Marnie. And uh, yeah, I, I love it both. I, I'm an avid, my brother owns a snowmobile rental company, so we try to get out as often as possible doing that. I just like being outside, period. Oh, that's awesome. Um, favorite vacation ever? Well, we went, uh, Marnie and I had just started seeing each other and we ended up going to Montreal for the F1 race. Had a friend that was well connected there. He totally took care of us and we got home and I'm like, sweetie, I don't know what, how we're going to top this, but we'll try. But it was a great one. I love going to Puerto Vallarta too with her parents and yeah, I'd okay. say the, the two best. Awesome. Good. Um, and what do you drink in the morning tea or coffee and is that all day or is that just in the morning lately i quit smoking over a year ago and i seem to be able to handle more caffeine now or require more caffeine i don't know what the answer is but uh, i used to be a tea guy now i'm more coffee we got a nice little bottom and i like brewing coffee that way we actually got a nitro coffee brewer so you, you cold brew your coffee put it in this canister inject it with nitro and then you pull your coffee out of it and it cascades like a Guinness does. Oh, that so, sounds I haven't tried it yet, but I'm anxious to get that going too. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, once COVID is, is over and done and in the past, what are you most looking forward to? Traveling, getting out there. We did, uh, uh, we, we have it on the agenda to rent a motorhome and go visit some friends all over the place. So that way we can take the dogs with us. So I'm really looking forward to that. And just having friends over, we like entertaining and, and doing dinners and backyard parties and that kind of stuff. And I, I can't wait till we can do that again. Me neither, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time today, John. And thank you um, I look forward to introducing you to the rest of Manitoba Women in Construction. And hopefully we'll see you at some of our events in uh, That's what I was going to say. I can't wait to start going to those events. Uh, yeah. Thanks very much, Ellen. It was a pleasure doing this. Thanks.